enter into special ministries of service in our church. According to 1 Corinthians 12, 47 and 27, there are a variety of gifts, but it is the same Spirit who gives them. There are different ways of serving God, but it is the same Lord who is saved. Sure. God works to each person in a unique way, but it is God's purpose that is accomplished. To each is given a gift of the Spirit to be used for the common good. Together we are the body of Christ, and individually we are members of it. So we're called into the Church of Jesus Christ by baptism and marked as belonging to Christ by the Holy Spirit. It is our calling to be disciples and servants uh, of our servant Lord. But within the community of the church, some are called to a particular service as deacons and as elders. Ordination is a gift of Christ to the church. Ordination assures that Jesus' ministry continues among us, providing for ministries of caring and compassion in the world, and ordering the way the church is run in preaching the word and administering the sacraments. Now, I'll have this session elder uh, say what needs to be said next. Uh, I'll go in session elder. He's, he's sort of on extension. So, he's still currently our, our group of session. Presenting the church, the session of the first time, Presbyterian Church, now aids one child, nursery to the office of elder, and install him to the active service in the sessions. The session also aids Joseph to accompany to the office of deacon, and the session also installs those who have been previously ordained, deacon Julie, Tobit the Soul, um, Tobit the Soul, or Utanya, Doharan, and Sunny Surya. Thank you. Now, these are some of the questions I need to ask for those who will be ordained in this one day. So, these are questions for you. Uh, do you trust in Jesus Christ, your Savior, acknowledge Him as Lord of all and head of the church, and through Him believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? Uh, yes, say I do. Do you accept the scriptures of the Old and New Testaments to be, by the Holy Spirit, the unique and authoritative witness to Jesus Christ in the Church Universal and God's Word to you? Say yes, I do. Yes, yes I do. Do you sincerely receive and adopt the essential tenets of the Reformed faith as expressed in the confessions of our Church as authentic and reliable expositions of what Scripture leads us to believe and do, and will you be instructed and led by the those confessions as you lead the people of God. Will you fulfill your office in obedience to Jesus Christ under the authority of Scripture and be continually guided by our confessions? Uh, yes, say I will. Yes, I will. Will you be governed by our church's polity and will you abide by its discipline? Will you be a plan among your colleagues in ministry, working with them and subject to the ordering of God's word? And spirit. If yes, say I will. Will you in your own life seek to follow the Lord Jesus Christ, love your neighbors, and work for the conservation of the world? If yes, say I will. Do you promise to further the peace, unity, and purity of the church? If yes, say I do. Will you seek to serve the people with energy, intelligence, imagination, and love? If yes, say I will. I will. Uh, to the deacons of your name. Uh, actually, to all the deacons. Will you be a faithful deacon, teaching charity, urging concern, and directing the people's help to the friendless and those in need? Um, in your ministry, will you try to show the love and justice of Jesus Christ? Yes, say I will. To the elder. Will you be a faithful elder, watching over the people, providing for their worship, nurture, and service? Will you share in government and discipline, serving in governing bodies of the church? And in your ministry, will you try to show the love and justice of Jesus Christ? If yes, say, I will. I will. To your members, 
Do we, the members of the church, accept Monshai Masri, Joseph Tunkabani, Juri um, Sobon, Sunny Suya, Tanya and Lohanan, as elder and deacons chosen by God through the voice of this congregation to lead us in the way of Jesus Christ? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yeah. do we agree to encourage them to respect their decision to follow as they guide us, serving Jesus Christ, who alone is the head of the church? Yes, it be you. Um, all right. Monshai and Joseph, you are the ones we ordained today. Uh, the rest have already been ordained in the past. So uh, uh, please kneel and face the congregation. And uh, may the elders in the congregation come forward uh, and stand behind Joseph and Monshai uh, as we say a prayer of ordination. Lord God, we give you thanks for your faithfulness to us. In every age, you have called leaders to serve you and equip them with your gifts. Among your people, Israel, you anointed prophets, priests, and rulers. You called pastors and teachers, bishops and elders and deacons to build up your church. With Moses, the 70 elders bore the burdens of your people, ministering in the power of your spirit. Among the apostles, deacons cared for all in need and guarded the community's peace. In the church, deacons, elders, and pastors served together so that your whole people might be equipped for ministry and built up into the full unity of Christ. For your servants in every age and for the church of Jesus Christ, we give you all thanks and praise. Uh, now first, lay hands on the deacon to be ordained. Uh, this is prayer for the deacon. God of grace, pour out your Holy Spirit on Joseph Tumkamani, that he may be a faithful deacon in the church. Give him to openness to the Holy Spirit's leading, that he may see and serve wherever there is need. Train him in prayer, that he may express the compassion of Christ for the poor and the friendless, the sick, the grieving, and the troubled. Equip him with the courage to bear the gospel and to communicate your presence and might among those who are powerless. In everything, give him the mind of Christ, who did not grasp at greatness but emptied himself to become a servant of your kingdom. Give him joy in his walk of faith and a sure sense of your abiding presence for his work of ministry. Now please lay hands on the elder to be ordained. God of grace, pour out your Holy Spirit on Monchai Noisiri, that he may be your faithful elder in the church. Give him prudence and sound judgment, wisdom and courage to order the life of the church in obedience to your word. Nourish him in the life of the Holy Spirit, that she, he, he may exercise the ministry of discipline with humility and compassion. Guide him in governance on this session and in every court of the church, that he may be a servant leader following Christ who came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life to set others free. Give him joy in his walk of faith and a sure sense of your abiding presence for his work of ministry. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. So, Monchai, Joseph, Jury, Sunny, and Tanya are now your installed elders and deacons in the Church of Jesus Christ. And for this congregation, um, I now present them to you. Uh, as your newly installed elders in the 